guys, welcome back to the channel today. You join me from the driver's seat of a Mark III Focus ST, but as you can see from the intro shots, this thing is not standard. It has been to the channel before, so a quick rundown of what I'm driving. It has the MR300 mount tune pack. It's running around 300 brake horsepower. It has many mount tune upgrades. It has the exhaust system. All of the supporting mods to go with that 300 brake horsepower. Reminding myself of how good this thing drives as well, just by jumping in it. How lovely is the mount tune short shifter in these Mark 3s? It's fantastic, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. The body kit. It is a BTCC full race body kit on this thing. So it's actually off a BTCC Focus that was raced and what a thing to put on your car. What a legend Simon is for putting this on his ST. It looks epic on road. I know a lot of people probably won't understand this crazy thing that Simon has created and the guys at Fat Fender, but I absolutely love it. It is monstrous in the road. It sits so wide. It's just insanity. It looks like a road going race car. It's all one color at the moment because it is getting wrapped in the not so distant future, but I wanted to grab it as Simon is down for the takeover and just enjoy this thing because I enjoyed it last year in the shoot that I did for it then. But now, just look at it. It's insane. Look at the size of the arches. I mean, let's just stop for a second and realize if I look in the wing mirror this side, there is a monstrous rear arch sat on the back of this thing. Guys at Fat Fender, again, have done a fantastic job in creating uh, the kit that was from a BTCC car. And obviously the track cars are space frames. You know, you can cut and shut them as much as you please, but putting that onto a road going car with arches and mounts and all that sort of stuff, they've done a fantastic job. The front end is huge. It is massive. It is gargantuan. It looks absolutely mental coming down the road, this thing. And I have so much respect for Simon doing this. I've never seen anything this wide, this crazy, done to a Mark III. It just looks so different, so cool. The kit itself comprises of the front bumper, which is, again, absolutely monstrous. It's huge. You have the front arches, which are the whole piece. You can see from the overlay video how wide these things actually are. They're so, so wide. It just gives so much purpose and theatre to this body kit. The kit also includes the side skirts, which run all the way down the side of the car. Again, absolutely massive. Going into those rear doors, which have a really, really cool design, a door piece going onto the door and then onto the rear quarter and then round to the rear bumper. It's got so much going on on that rear end, but it's done so well. And I think as a road going car, it looks like it should be there. It looks like it flows really well onto the standard platform of the car. Those looks though, <laughs> coupled with 300 brake horsepower, front wheel dive turbocharged ST, it means this thing is an absolute right. The wider footprint that has been created from this kit with the 25 mil spacers and thicker tires that have been put on this, corners. It's a little bit fiber. Oh, this thing is such a laugh to drive. And the bigger footprint means it's more chuckable. It means it's got more purpose. Yes, the body kit is looks silly it's crazy all oh, right it's this and that but it actually serves a purpose because the tires and the wheels can be thicker and wider so it has more traction it has more chuckability because the footprint is so much wider on this thing i've just got to go back to the idea that this thing has been created with the idea that taking a btcc car and making it sort of road worthy in theory that's what this focus looks like it looks like a road going race car <laughs> Such a laugh to drive these Focus STs and Simon himself has done a fantastic job at creating this one. Keeping the drivability and the fun factor with putting this body kit on is one of those things you want to obviously widen your car and stuff but you want to make it exciting and drivable for yourself as well and he's done a such a good job. <laughs> So guys, pulling over, let's have a quick look around this Focus ST with the BTCC wide arch body kit on it. Gonna go through this as much as I can. 
but I mean, look at it. It is just insanity on a Focus ST. So coming up to the front bumper from the 2017 BTCC year body kit and completely molded and, you know, cut and fastened onto this car. Because obviously as a race car goes, they're not too similar to a road going car being space framed and all that sort of stuff. So a lot of work went into getting this kit on this car. I'm gonna come round to the arches. This car is incredible how wide this thing is with the vents just going down the side here. Huge, huge side skirts as well. Give it a bit of depth going into the rear arch. Done so professionally by Fat Fender as well. Completely done properly with the back doors still accessible, which is a big thing. That's really, really hard to get that done coming down to this part I love this part where it goes with the body line and round into the rear bumper the rear bumper is actually from the standard car because the btcc car also pretty much runs a standard style bumper obviously cut and get bits out of it as much as they can for weight saving but it is pretty much the same rear bumper so that is the standard rear bumper at the back and coming around this side you do have this byc wing as well that's rocking FYD look at that what a lad that was on there last year as well but it just complements this kit down to the ground and I think this looks mega with the 25 mil spaces going all around to bring out these chunky 275 tires with these team dynamic wheels that were on it last year looks mega though. <laughs> look at the width though let's go around the front again the width is just insane just think of that coming towards you absolutely massive this bit here is my favorite part where there's so much depth to this part of the bumper so so sick but what we're going to do is we're going to go back onto the roads and enjoy this thing so this is a bit of a controversial video i think or a controversial kit i suppose i personally like it a lot of people may not like it they may not like the idea of taking a race wide arch body kit and putting it on a road going cart there's a standard st right there it looks so small in comparison that's so funny but i love it i love the different i don't know of any other mark three that's running a btcc kit like this car and i love the idea that simon has taken it and made it a reality he was looking for the kit for ages and he found one from the steve jelly 2017 car and made it a reality and I love the idea of that. You gotta see past if you like it or not. You gotta see the workmanship and the passion that went into this build. It's just so different. And he's kept and retained the quality from the inside. It's so comfy in here, the standard seats. It's, it's all dailyable. You could daily this car, yet it looks crazy from the outside. It's got good power behind it. The drivability has increased, the wantability has increased as well. I love the idea of the arches and it's a it's a sort of want idea for people to take a race car outside, put it onto their road going comfy car. Think about it that way, it makes so much sense. This is a really cool car this and I've got the utmost respect for Simon for doing this and I know people will be like, oh I can't believe you put that on a still, oh I can't believe it, I can't believe it, but I love it. The idea that this car is still comfortable and drivable, even on a daily basis, but it looks this crazy. Hats off to you, mate. You've built something absolutely phenomenal here, and I've got all the respect in the world for you. So guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did like this car. Give it a thumbs up as well. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Many, many car reviews, different things, modified stuff, stuff with BTCC kits on it. It's insanity. But thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, head over to fydapparel.com copy yourself some FYD merch to support the channel and I will see you all on the next video.